Hi friends, welcome to Charcos. I'm Dr. Seema Balyan, the founder and director of Charcos. Charcos is a healthcare recruitment and training company with over 15 years of experience in providing turnkey solution for training and recruitment needs for the nurses, doctors, and AHPs such as radiographers, occupational therapists, ODPs, and many more. Charcos operates over three continents in countries such as UK, Australia, Germany, Italy, and New Zealand. Our services include OET and IELTS training, CV enhancement, interview preparation, NMC and APRA registration, CBT and NCLEX preparation, visa application and flight bookings, OSCE training for all fields of nursing such as adult nursing, mental health nursing, pediatric nurses, midwifery and learning disabilities. OSCE training is available in India as well as in UK. Orientation for life in UK, OSCE exam bookings and the logistics bookings. Excellent pastoral care. Our state of the art learning platform includes reading materials, videos, quiz to enhance your learning and equip you for a positive and a better outcome. For registration, CV upload, relevant bookings and more information please visit our website www.charcosglobal.com visit our youtube channel and subscribe our youtube channel by going to charcos learning center our facebook page instagram and linkedin pages by the name of charcos global so what are you waiting for subscribe now press the bell icon for regular updates and all the information that you require. We are looking forward to seeing you on our site and being a partner in your enhanced journey. Thank you very much. Let's talk about assessment. So this new assessment, you get 20 minutes and that includes your reading time. You'll have one page, just an A4 side of background on your patient and the scenario. So take your time to read that, but allow yourself at least 15 minutes to do the actual assessment complete the observations and document all of the vital signs according to the news or GCS chart, whichever scenario you get. Okay, this assessment is now an A to E assessment. So make sure it's really clear that you are working in that process and doing airway, breathing, circulation, any disability and exposure. Um, please note you will not be expected to actually expose the actor, uh, undress the actor um, for that part. So ask any questions that are relevant for that uh, part of the examination. Okay, enter in the room, checking for the scene safety. It's safe to uh, approach my patient. I'm providing uh, privacy and dignity by making sure the curtains are closed. I'm going to do my hand hygiene using alcohol hand rub, palm to palm, palm to dorsum. Fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, rotation of the thumb, tips of the fingers, and finally the wrist. Good morning. Good morning. My name's Julie, I'm one of the nurses looking after you today. And I've come here now to do a nursing assessment on you, which includes your observations at your blood pressure and pulse, etc. Okay. Can be a convenient time to do that? Okay. Wonderful. So can I just confirm your full name and date of birth, please? Yeah, my name is Ash Potter and date of birth is 1st of January 1950. Super. Can I just uh, confirm that with your wristband as well, please? Okay. Okay, so Ash Potter, 1st of the 1st, 1950. Hospital number 0004321. 0004321. Super. I can see you have a white wristband on, uh, Ash. Is, is it okay to call you Ash? Yes, it is fine. Okay, um, so, do you have any allergies that you're aware of at all? No, I'm not allergic to anything. Super, so you have got the correct um, wristband on there. So, I'm going to do what they call an A to E assessment. Um, so, I'm going to start with your airway. And I can see you're clearly talking to me. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, it's clear to me that there's no uh, blockage or anything there, you're not experiencing any difficulties. So um, next I'm going to move on to your breathing. 
and I can see also um, looking from a distance that you seem to be uh, breathing with ease. There's no seesaw uh, movement or use of your um, accessory muscles. Um, and I can't hear any audible wheeze or strider. Have you been uh, experiencing a cough at all? No. I'm super, fine. super. And you don't have any difficulty in your breathing at all? No, I'm feeling all right. Lovely. Okay, so uh, now we're moving on to C, which is for circulation. So um, I can see that you otherwise don't look overly pale or anything, but I am going to check your capillary refill. Is that okay? Yeah. And I'm going to uh, squeeze and release your finger, and that's great. Okay, um, Ash, I'm going to check your blood pressure and pulse. Is that okay? Okay. I can confirm that this equipment has been cleaned and calibrated and therefore is safe to use. Uh, do you have any preference on which arm I take your blood pressure on? No. Uh, so I'm on your left side, so I'm going to take it on your side, if that's okay. Do you mind if I um, pull your sleeve up? No. It's okay. okay, that goes up. Have you had any surgery to this arm? No. Okay. And um, what about to your chest? Uh, any lymphedema problems or anything like that that I need to be aware of? No, I'm fine. Super. Okay, so have you seen one of these electric uh, blood pressure machines before? I have. Okay, so you know that they're going to gonna get a little bit tight, um, but that will resolve as soon as the blood pressure has been recorded. So I'm making sure that that goes around 80% of your upper arm. Mm -hmm. And then so I have positioned the um, wire in line with your artery and that there's two to three centimetres uh, space above the anticubical fossa. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm checking that you're um, lying still. Please don't uh, cross your legs and just be relaxed whilst that works. Is that okay? Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so as I said, it's going to get tight. I'm just starting that now. Okay. Whilst that's doing, I'm going to do uh, your pulse oximetry. So I'm going to place this on your other hand. Um, and again, checking that it's not cold or clammy and that you haven't got any false nails or nail varnish on uh, the ash. And I'm going to stick this on your finger and turn it on. Okay, I'm going to leave that there for a minute. Okay. Okay. Hope that wasn't too bad. That was just done, Ash. Okay. I'll take this away. And I'm going to pull your sleeve back down. Is that comfortable? Yes, it is. Wonderful. So I'm going to take that one away. The next thing I need to do, uh, Ash, is to take your pulse. Okay. Uh, so you might, I'm going to take your um, radial pulse. Um, so I'm going to find your uh, pulse here. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to be counting for two full minutes, Ash. Okay. okay. Um, do you mind if I just place your arm across your chest there? Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so um, I'm not going to be able to talk because I'm going to count, I'm not that clever. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, what, but if you need anything or you're in pain or anything, please just stop me and we can start again. Okay. Okay, so your two minutes uh, start now. Wonderful, thank you Ash, uh, that's the two minutes completed. Um, actually I counted your uh, pulse for one full minute but I also counted your respiration for one full minute as well. I didn't oh. tell you beforehand because when you know that someone's counting your breathing it changes the way you breathe so I'm sorry about that. It's all good. Okay, so I am just going to document these results um, before um, I move on. So bear with me for um, a minute, Ash. Okay. okay, so we have here um, a news chart and um, your name, date of birth and date of admission is here. And I'm going to put today's date and it is 10 o'clock. Um, so your respirations 
Uh, yes, there are uh, medications which I take. Uh, I suffer with uh, hypertension and uh, glaucoma. Okay. So, um, so have you taken what your duty had to so far today? Yes, I have taken uh, my blood pressure medicine and my eye drops. Perfect. Okay. Um, so, um, yeah, blood pressure and glaucoma. Um, Please, uh, Ash, can you tell me, um, do you have any other problems with your heart or um, epilepsy or diabetes, anything like that? that we can no, do? I'm okay otherwise. Yeah, otherwise, okay. Yeah. Um, can I ask, um, how have you been eating and drinking since you've been home? So as you know that I had this operation, mm -hmm. so since the operation I am uh, not eating very well um, because I am suffering with the constipation as well. Um, okay, although, so how long yeah. you, since you've had your bowels open? Oh, it's been almost four days. Okay, okay. Um, uh, are you drinking okay? Yeah, but do you mean water or? Oh, uh, okay, so do, do you have any alcohol consumption? Although I don't want to admit it, but I have been drinking a bit more than what I would like in the last few days. Um, so, on a, uh, uh, an average day, how much would you say you've been drinking? Um, sometime two or three pints. Okay. Um, is it lager or beer or what is your, your preference to drink? Oh, whatever I can find. Okay, okay. And that's suddenly increased since you've been at home? Yeah, normally I would only drink a couple of times a week, but now it is happening almost daily. Okay, okay. Well, uh, so four days since you're back. Um, and it's been ten days that you've been at home since your operation, is that right? Yes. Um, so the last thing I need to do there is I need to um, confirm that you are alert, uh, you are not confused, um, you are not uh, unresponsive or slow to respond in any way. Um, my, I would like to take your temperature as your final observation. So, um, have you seen one of these machines before? This I have. Ear. Yeah. Okay. So, can I um, ask, do you have any uh, hearing aids at all? No, I don't wear any hearing aids. Okay, and have you had any ear infections or any problems with your ears at all? No. Um, are you happy for me to do your left ear? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm just taking a um, look. I put a clean cap on and I'm going to put this in your ear and it's going to uh, beep. Okay, oh. super. Wonderful. And I'm going to dispose of that in the vegetable waste. Yeah, although it has recently been dressed, but you can have a oh, look. Okay, um, well, tell me about your wound then, uh, Ash. Uh, um, do you, is there any uh, oozing that's been coming through? 
Uh, yes, the nurse was saying that there was a little bit of uh, one or two stitch had come off and a bit opening and there was a little bit of a discharge. Okay. So uh, she's taken a swab, I think, from there. Wonderful. Um, and what about um, the rest of your body? Have you had any, any rash or any other um, thing anywhere else? No, otherwise I'm okay. There is no other rash anywhere. Okay. And around the um, actual wound, when you said there's a little gaping, um, did the nurse comment whether it uh, looked any swollen or inflamed at all? Oh yes, she mentioned inflamed. Ah, okay, okay. So, okay, um, right, I don't know whether you remember when you were in hospital last time, but we have this form which is called the news form, the National Early Warning Score which um, we would log your observations on and that gives us an indication of how regularly we need to be reassessing uh, your observations. So let me just spend a second to calculate. So we have one for your oxygen levels, uh, we have one for your blood pressure and one for your temperature. So we have a total score of three which means that I'm going to come back and monitor your blood pressure and all your pulse every four hours at the moment. Okay, I am going to escalate it to the doctor just to make sure that they are aware of your temperature that you've got going on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to sign that. Um, that's your observations complete. Um, but I would just like to ask you a few more questions to help us look after you whilst you're here. Is that okay? Yeah, that should be fine. So tell me, Ash, what in the last 10 days, I know you've been at home, I've read from your notes that you've been at home on your own um, and your partner's been staying with your daughter, is that correct? It is. Okay, so how have you been coping on your own? Well, it's a bit difficult to be on my own. Um, thankfully, my daughter and sometimes my son-in-law, they come in and bring me the food. Okay. Uh, yeah, but mostly it's the loneliness. And how, how have you been coping with that then? Have you, already, um, uh, have you been having a low mood? Yeah, it does make me feel a bit low. Um, and I find it difficult to find interest in doing anything. So do you find that you've um, lost concentration? Perhaps if you're trying to read or watch a TV program or something, are you able to concentrate on it? Yeah, I do try, but uh, sometimes it is difficult, especially when I start thinking about what has been going on. Um, yeah, although I try my best to keep myself engaged. You've um, got a lot going on at the moment, Ash. You've had a big operation and um, you've got a lot with the, the diagnosis and everything that you've um, been uh, given. So you really do need to... Um, have access to someone that you can talk to and to share this so that you can help get through this. Would you class yourself as a, a religious man at all? Um, I don't particularly, but um, I am not uh, not religious, so yeah. Okay, I just wanted to let you know that if you wanted to talk to someone other than us and stuff, which you obviously we're here for to support you all the way, and Sometimes you just, it doesn't feel comfortable to talk to us or even your partner or your daughter, etc. If you want someone outside of this circle to talk to, we do have a, a multi-disciplinary, uh, uh, multiple faith um, chaplaincy of people here that will just come and talk to you so you can discuss, rant, do whatever you want if you um, open. So I just wanted to let you know that there was someone here if you wanted to do that. Okay. okay, thank you. So can I just ask just some more specific questions about your physical capabilities? Okay. Um, so since you've been home the last 10 days, have you noticed any difference in your ability to uh, complete your personal hygiene? Um, yes, uh, it has been more difficult, more because of the pain and because of the operation wound and all that thing. So I do find it a bit challenging. Um, but I am managing. Okay, so you mentioned pain there. Um, can I ask you um, to rate your pain? If you was to say that no, uh, no pain would be zero and uh, 10 would be the worst pain imaginable, where would you rate your pain right now? 
maybe around uh, seven sometimes uh, but sometimes less after medication it comes down to okay. four or five um, and so what's the best it can get once the medication's kicked in oh m majority of the time it is around three Uh, not since morning, I have not taken anything. Okay. I will double check your chart and see if there's anything I can give you. I think if we can try and keep your pain at a reasonable level, um, it will mean that you are able to do a little bit more for yourself and that will help with um, your frustrations and your mood as well. If you feel that you're capable of being able to um, have a little bit of the life that you had before your operation, okay? Okay. Um, okay, so Ash, what about walking? I'm able to walk, but um, again, after the operation, it has become more difficult because um, it has definitely decreased my mobility. Okay, all right. okay. that's all I want to test you with right now. I'm going to go and write up all of this information you've told me. Um, and um, I will double check about the papers if you need it, uh, if there is anything there available. And I'll speak to the doctor if there isn't anything you can have right now because we really wouldn't get that uh, under control, okay? So before I leave, I'm going to leave you with uh, the call bell. So please, because you're having a little bit of difficulty because of the pain and with the mobilising and everything, need anything at all, please um, use the call bell and one of us will come and assist you, okay? Okay. Are you comfortable before I leave? Yeah, at the moment I'm fine. Is there anything I can do to, to help you before I go? No, it's all right. Okay. Right, nice to meet you, Ash. And I will be back um, very shortly once I've spoken to the doctor. Okay. 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 Bye for now. Bye.